centers in all our 47 counties because we must cater for the issues that plague us as at now and I want to commend the Deputy President Honorable Rigadi Gachagua for his very spirited fight against illicit booze and second generation alcohol but as we fight to ensure we save the next generation what about those who have already been lost to abuse of alcohol in this nation honorable speaker we must ensure that we also salvage them and try to mitigate the effects of the long-term usage of alcohol i therefore support this and i urge the committee to ensure that this report does not die here on the floor of the august house let us have an accountability perspective of where the 700 million and the profits from the same were applied to and they must be plowed back as csr to communities that are affected by alcohol in this country thank you honorable speaker member for maracot west honorable timothy uh, thank you, Honorable Speaker, for giving me an opportunity to contribute uh, on this uh, very important report of the Order General. Honorable Speaker, I wish to thank the Chair of the Committee, uh, my friend, Honorable Amina Mohamed, for the good work that she has done as a Chair of the Committee. Honorable Chair, Honorable Speaker, the issue to do with alcoholic drinks in this country, initially it was under the national government. The famous to the law was passed in the year 2010. Honorable Speaker, at that particular time, the national campaign against drug abuse authority was under the national government. But pursuant to the promulgation of the new constitution 2010, that particular function was transferred to the county governments because health became a fully devolved function, Honorable Speaker. Honorable Speaker, now what, what is happening in the county governments is that each county government because that function is devolved, has passed a legislation to suit a particular county. And I speaker, the challenge now is that we have 47 different legislations regulating the use of alcoholic drinks in this country. And I speaker, it is something that we need to rethink as a country because it, it even becomes a challenge in terms of audit by the, by the Committee of Special Funds because it, it, it questions or these issues in terms of jurisdiction, whether a committee of this house can be able to check the excesses in terms of the legislation of the county government and can be able to audit a function that is devolved. And it becomes a, a, a big challenge. Honorable Speaker, in various counties, counties are raising funds, pass one to the legislation they passed. They are formed committees on alcoholic drinks at the county level. But, Chair, we need to relook because can this committee of this House, the special funds, be able to relook at whether the funds raised by the county governments meet the needs of the people on those, in those counties? Honorable Speaker, because I have a challenge. If you look at this report, this special funds committee, unless I'm advised, is not able to ascertain, to audit the funds that are channeled through the county government. Because what's happening now is that the county governments have formed committees, sub uh, committees and subcommittees to issue licenses, to regulate the issue of alcoholic drinks in the, in, in the counties. Honorable Speaker, now the, the question of devolution and the question of the function of the county governments in holding these funds comes into question. Honorable Speaker, we need to look at a way so that the funds raised by the county governments through licensing can be able to rehabilitate those people who are or, or those people who are using alcohol and to their detriment has affected them in one way or the other. So Honorable Speaker, I support this report, but as a country, we need to look at the legal framework. We, we need to look to, to look at the architecture of devolving health because the biggest challenge is we have devolved the county government, they are raising funds, but are those funds meeting the required needs and are those funds used properly in terms of even establishing rehabilitation centers at the county level? So, Honorable Speaker, I support the report 
But majorly, I still reiterate that the issue to do with alcoholic drinks and the issue to do with national campaign against drug abuse authority should be returned to the national government so that we have one autonomous body regulating the use of alcoholic drinks in this country. Honorable Speaker, it is apparently clear in the face of record that county governments have been unable. That is why you see the fight against alcoholic drinks in this country by the national government because it is apparently clear on the face of record that the county governments have not been able to properly regulate, to license uh, alcoholic drinks at the county level. Honorable Speaker, this function, in my own opinion, should be taken back to the national government. Let us have one autonomous authority regulating the issuance of licenses, regulating the issuance of registration of bars in this country and other, uh, other drinking joints. Honorable Speaker, it is clear that the national government, I mean the county government, has failed on this mandate and this function, particularly on the national campaign against drug abuse. That authority which was taken to the county government or which lapsed because of devolution should be taken back to the national government so that the national government is takes, uh, becomes uh, autonomous in terms of regulating alcoholic drinks in this country. Honorable Speaker, I, support, I rise to support this report. Very well. Member for Narok North, Honorable Agnes Pareyo. Thank you, Madam Speaker, for giving me this opportunity to support the report on the special funds. And as the other members have said, uh, it is interesting to see that when you go back to our constituencies, uh, most of our youth are Finnish. And they are in between the county government and the national government. This is because the county governments issue the licenses, and then as a result, you find that most of our youth are now involved in the drinking of the illicit brews, and this this, this youth will end up dying and we shall not have a, a generation that will come back and inherit this land if we don't take care of it. So I'm saying I, I support the report and I also want the involvement to be either in the national government or totally go to the county governments. Because when we go fighting these illicit abuse, uh, the community says uh, the government issues the licenses, but they don't care what happens uh, to the people after they have issued their licenses. So for me, I support the report, and these special funds must be seen to to go back to the people so that we can also have rehabilitation centers where we can take our children or our women. Because we find that even women are now involved in their drinking. So for me, I support the report. Thank you. Thank you. Member for Nyamira, Honorable Jerusha. Thank you, Honorable Speaker, for giving me this opportunity so that I can also support this report. Indeed, as my fellow colleagues have said, when we go down to our constituencies, most of our young generation have totally been destroyed simply because the alcoholic drinks which are now rampant all over do not have a central place where even those people who are able to identify, those people who are giving out the illicit brew, they, they, there is no central place where the reports go. Because the current governments, they, they have on, on one hand, they are controlling, and the national government on the other hand. So when we, we say that uh, health is devolved, and some uh, issues are not properly outlined on how they should be dealt with, then we put our communities in a very awkward, uh, a very awkward situation. That is why these days, if you look at what is happening, the way our young 
uh, our young generation is indulging in alcoholism. It, is, it signifies that we, are, we as a country 